Welcome back to my channel. My name is Patience Godsville and this is Simply a Woman. This is a place where we talk about the realities of a woman, her day-to-day -day activities, everything. So on this channel, uh, if you're a woman and you're listening to me, this is home. And whatever topic you want us to talk about at the end of this video, please comment in the comment section below. Write down issues. If there are things you're struggling with and you want us to discuss on this channel, please write it down below. I will gladly talk about some of these topics. <laughs> recently resigned from my job and uh, if you've worked uh, nine to five you will know that once you have a place an office where you go to you know that you're more organized because you wake up like in my in my former place of work I leave home by later seven o'clock seven a.m. and I get there before seven thirty and then I close from work by four o'clock. So you see, it's a, it's a routine. Like <clears throat> every day I follow this routine from Monday to Friday and it's easier for you if you do, if you work in such an organization or if you do a nine to five, it's easier for you to follow this routine. But you see, when I left work and I started this channel, I started to work from home. I started to do some other things from home. I discovered that I, I, I really needed my life to be organized in a certain way for me to be effective. And that is why on today's edition, I like to talk about how to be effective as a stay at home woman. The first tip I want to bring to you is establish a routine establish a routine you see that same routine that you used to have when you go when you go where you have an office where you report to every day at home now like your office is at home now you must establish a routine like from seven from six when i wake up by five o'clock like in my house now we wake up um i wake up before five to do my devotion to do my whatever meditation whatever i want to do my my affirmation my daily affirmation then by 5 30 we do the family prayer and then any time from six I do whatever I want to do, but I discovered that I needed more than just waking up and showing up and just doing things the way I wanted. I, I realized that I would not achieve much. So I had to look for a way to be more effective as a stay at home mom, because of course, now when you stay at home, Nowadays, no, no woman just stays at home. Mm? No woman just stays at home. You're staying at home. You like to be doing something that would be bringing some money, some change into your pockets or into your bank account. So, of course, you will have to develop, establish a routine where from social time to social time, this is what I'm doing from seven to eight. I'm, I'm doing my house chores from eight to nine. I'm taking my bath. I'm preparing from nine to 12. I'm, I'm you know, um, I want to like create an office space, even though you don't have an office, but at least like your work. Now you want to pay attention to your work from nine to 12. So if you want to be effective as a stay at home mom or a stay at home woman, you must establish a routine. Number two, <clears throat> prioritize your responsibilities. Prioritize your responsibilities. What do I mean by that? Now, what are your responsibilities? My responsibility, if I'm a mom, if you are a, a mom, of course, I'm a mom, but I don't have toddlers. My, I have a son, he's grown now, he's, um, he's a teenager. So, but what are your responsibilities? Prioritize them. Do you have a help? Do you have a, a, a help, someone who comes to, you know, help you to work? You specify what that person is coming to help you do. Are you cooking? Prioritize, like, this is what I'm going to be doing first today. Then, follow number two. I will go to the market. Number three, I'm writing a book. So you prioritize your activity. That way it's easier for you to, you know, be more organized. That way it's easier for you to achieve a lot as a stay at home woman. Number three, stay connected to others. Because you are a stay at home 
woman or mom, wife, whatever it is right now, and you no longer go to a nine, or you no longer keep a nine to five, does not mean you are cut off completely from everyone. For instance, since I started staying at home, sometimes like days I don't have lessons because though I stay at home, I still run lessons. Like I go for lessons twice a, a, a week, uh, a jam class. I, I go to teach jam classes for students who are about writing jam. So, but that's just two times in a week. So other days I can stay at home from morning till evening without going out. And sometimes no phone call. I'm always at home because I don't go to the office. No. One of the ways you can be effective is to stay connected to others. Stay connected to other women, you know, through calls, through uh, chatting, texting, you know, connect, even through visitation, stay connected. That way you'll be refreshed. That way you'll be, your mind will be refreshed. You don't, you don't need to just stay in one place and then you're cut off completely from others. You know, you learn to share ideas with other people. You learn to share ideas with other women. Even through online, you can connect to other women online. That way you will get to be updated and you're refreshed and you, the impact is in turn seen in your life. So stay connected to other women and other people generally, even family, it, families. It doesn't have to be just other women, even your family, stay connected to them and it will help you to be effective as a stay at home woman. Number four, set goals, set goals. What are your goals? What do you want to achieve? This month, like this month, February, what do I want to achieve? Mm? You set goals like this month. For instance, I, I just started my YouTube channel. I have two channels. The first one is feminine and purposeful. And this one is called simply a woman. What are my goals? What do I want to achieve at the end of this month? What do I want to see happen in my life as a, as a woman, like as an individual? What do I want to see happen in my marriage? What do I want to see happen in the life of my children? What do I want to see happen in my career? So you set goals because you are now a stay at home mom doesn't mean you just sit down and you're just eating food and sleeping and just waking up and just, no, you set goals, you set things you want to achieve, set short time goals and set long time goal. Long time goals would be, like in this year 23 2023 what do i want to achieve where do i want to be at the end of this year short time goals could be daily could be weekly could be monthly what do i want to achieve so break down these goals to the minimal you know point and you'll be excited You'll be excited. You'll be effective as a woman who is at home, you know, not going to a nine to five. You'll be excited because you will see those goals. Number five, learn new skills. Because you are a stay at home woman right now or you stay at home mom, learn new skills, learn new things. Learn, learn to do other things like maybe um, if you like, if your passion is sewing, you like to just learn how to sew or learn for myself. What I do in my free moment is I, anyway, my channel is just starting. So the truth is like 80% of my time I give to this channel. I, I'm always thinking, I'm always looking at, you know, new videos to put out. I'm always looking at new topics to talk about. Like I'm always looking for ways to grow this, to grow my channel. So like bulk of my time I spend on YouTube, I spent online, I spent researching. But you see, a time as I make progress, time is going to come where I'm going to actually like pay attention to other things. So I want to encourage that you learn new skills. Like I make beats. I make beats. You can learn new skills. You can just do other things that just do fun things, things that will just help you to be more effective so that you will not just you know, be wasting your life and just wasting yourself because you now stay at home. The last thing I want to talk about here is stay organized. When I say stay organized, I mean like be organized. Let everything, there's something about being organized. Once you're organized, like it keeps your spirit high. It keeps you excited. It keeps you and uh, uh, motivated. 
be organized when you wake up in the morning make sure you make your bed don't leave any job or any task for tomorrow or don't don't procrastinate whatever you need to do do it now organize your kitchen organize your sitting room organize your parlor organize your life your life should be organized everything should be put in place I'm telling you, when you are organized at the end of each day, you are happy because there's something you have achieved. So I hope you've learned a thing or two from this video today. So if you are a stay-at-home mom or stay-at-home woman like myself, please comment in the comment section below. I like to get to know you. I like you to suggest other videos that we should talk about as moms, as women, as as wives on this channel remember this is simply a woman and we're keeping it simply a woman so suggest other videos and tell me how you are things you do to be effective as a stay at home mom and even those who keep nine to five tell me how life is being with you don't forget to subscribe to this channel subscribe comment like share and I will see you again in my next video. I love you. Bye-bye.